They've got leaked footage of the Winter Soldier and the Falcon, and you see a potential villain in this leaked footage. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your jock straps or your panty drawers, whichever one you're wearing, and take a look <laughs> at this. Leaked videos from the set of the Falcon and Winter Soldier, and they are very exciting to watch. We have action sequences between John Walker as the new Captain America, and also Bucky Barnes, aka the Winter Soldier, is there as well. We also have a new scene with a female character fighting US agent, and we believe this to actually be a major character in this series because we believe that she's going to be a part of the Thunderbolts. Thunderbolt Ross's Thunderbolts have been reported to be coming to the MCU and the Falcon and the Winter Soldier and the Black Widow movie are said to set them up. And it seems like we may have our first footage of one of those characters, Songbird, right here. Oh, here's the first leak scene that we got and it's of the new Captain America US agent, John Walker. Now, as you can see here, he is wearing the full Captain America uniform and he actually looks a lot like Steve Rogers. It even looks like he has blonde hair similar to Steve Rogers as well. Now, this may not actually be Wyatt Russell. It may be his stunt double preparing for a scene and as we're about to see he wears his helmet his captain america helmet in the scene but he has a full captain america uniform on but then we have another leaked video that's of the same scene. It's taking place at the same location at the same time, but it's of the winter soldier fighting somebody. Now, in this scene, we can see that he's clearly fighting somebody because there are hostages in this truck. He defeats one of the guys, and then he goes to the back of the truck to open it and let people out. We've kind of seen footage of this before, but from a different angle. But the great part about this is it feels very Captain America-esque. The fighting styles look like they're coming directly from a Captain America film, which is great because that's really what people want. And remember, they're shooting this like a movie. Anthony Mackie recently revealed that the Falcon and the Winter Soldier is going to feel like a long six to eight hour film. It's not going to feel like a TV show and the production and the crew even said that they've never shot a TV show like this before. It's different than anything that they've done in the past. So it's really going to feel like you're watching a Captain America movie. But let's move on to this new leaked video that we got between US agent, the new Captain America fighting a woman. Now, as you can see, everything in the background is on fire. And as you can see in the background, there are multiple people fighting Captain America at this point. There's hostages in this van and Captain America and the Winter Soldier went to rescue them. But as you can tell in this video, Captain America, US Agent Captain America is clearly fighting a woman. And who we believe this woman to be is Songbird. Now we've had other leaked photos of a woman in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier series in the past, which we believe to be Songbird as well. The photos that we saw in the past definitely have resemblance to the comic book character. And the reason that it's such a big deal that she is appearing in the series is because of the Thunderbolts. We know that Thunderbolt Ross is going to be pretty heavily involved in this show. He's going to be the one to give the super soldier serum to US agent John Walker. Now the super soldier serum is actually and secretly going to be controlling John Walker. But the point being is that Thunderbolt Ross is really trying to be in charge. Now Songbird in the comics originally starts off as a super villain, but she turns into a hero or at least an anti-villain when she she joins the Thunderbolts in the comics. And that's what we think will happen here. She'll either be caught and arrested and Thunderbolt Ross will offer her a chance of freedom if she joins the Thunderbolts and does his tasks. Or at this point in time, she's already working for Thunderbolt Ross secretly. Because this event right here with this leaked footage that we see could be staged by Thunderbolt Ross. We know that after the events of Civil War, he doesn't like not being able to control the Avengers and other superheroes. And we know that Sam is not going to take the Captain America mantle. And we we know that Bucky obviously defied him during Civil War as well. And then you take into the fact that the super soldier serum that US agent has is probably mind controlling him and Thunderbolt Ross is in charge of that. This probably all is some type of scheme to set up Bucky and Sam. But more will be revealed as soon as the Falcon and the Winter Soldier resumes production which is said to be very soon. Huh. Uh, did he actually call that fight between that woman and Captain America a fight? <laughs> like, did, did we, was we watching the same footage? I mean, because all I saw was her getting her ass whipped. I, I yeah. mean, 
Um, I, look, you know I'm excited for everything they're getting ready to do on the Disney Plus app. That ain't do nothing for me. That ain't do nothing for me. It didn't. It didn't heighten my level of anticipation. It didn't really lower it either. It was just yeah. okay. You got a leak. Um, that was a mediocre leak to me. But Larry, I give it to you. Yeah, I, I felt like you know. I mean, it was it was okay. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to hate on him. I guess, you know, part of my part of my thought when I was watching that is, one is, why are they having Captain America fight a woman? That's just, I mean, that's not a good look. I know it happens. It's just never a really good look when they do it. Captain America is supposed to be the All-American dude, which I can't imagine an All-American dude would go beat up a woman. Well, this is a mind-controlled woman. I mean, a mind-controlled Captain America. Gotcha. And, and I was I was a little disappointed they couldn't get the original Bucky back. I was like, I know they get they lost Captain America, but I you know I I see that they still kept Anthony Mackie. I just wish they would have been able to have the you know the original Bucky. They, they, oh. They're going to still have that Bucky. You talking about the Bucky from the movies? Yeah, yeah, they're going to still have him. So who's the dude that was in the shot with with, with Anthony Mackie? That was the that was the guy that played the Winter Soldier. That wasn't the dude from the movies. That was the dude from the movies, man. Are you? No, nah, he looks totally different. That was the guy from the movies, man. I'm going to have to do some IMDb in tonight. Yeah, IMDb, <laughs> brother. IMDb, man. You got to keep up with me with this Marvel stuff, man. I That's guess him. so. That's Sebastian Stan, man. That okay. is Sebastian Stan. Mike Willie is telling me to chill out. He's saying that this is going to be a perfect tie-in. And, I, you know, Mike, I don't doubt that. I believe you, brother. All I'm saying is this leak, not, not the show, but just this leak didn't do anything for me. This, this leak, I could have done without the leak. It, like I said, it didn't change my uh, anticipation. It didn't lower anything. It's just that I just didn't get excited by the leak. Um, I'm glad to know that the Thunderbolts are going to be tied in. I kind of have a feeling they was going to do that because they're also tying this series into the movies as well, which I think is another good move. But in terms of the leak itself, I'm good. 